Hello and welcome to today's session. In this session, I'm going to take you through some exercises where we're going to use our resistance bands. So what you need for this one is a resistance band, we've got a mat and a little pillow as well, that would be great. Uh, remember, these exercises are all given as general advice only. If you've got any um, injuries or any medical conditions, these might not be right for you. So make sure um, you go and get assessed first before doing these exercises if you have any other conditions going on. Um, follow along if you can, and hopefully you're going to find using the band adds a bit of interest to the exercises. The resistance works you a little bit harder as well. So we're going to start off, we're going to hold our band. I'm going to start off standing up. So we're going to take a stand onto our band with our feet about hip width apart, and then you're standing up tall, so you're going to be, feel some tension on your band here. We're going to take those shoulders back and down so our chest is open, just to get that back into that neutral position, try and have a nice equal pressure between our left and our right foot. And then we're going to work into our waist. So we're going to slide one arm down our leg as our other arm slides up, then we're going to come back to the middle, and then going the other way, sliding the other arm down as the other arm comes up, and then coming back to the middle. You're going to breathe out as you side bend, and breathe in as you come back into the middle. So as you think about squashing down, as you side bend through that side of your waist, you're closing down, you're exhaling, and then inhaling as you come back up tall, opening out through the side of your body there. As you come to the side, just try and keep that chest nice and open. Try not to round or lean forward, keep that chest open. So really working into our waist and just watching that our pelvis stays stacked straight over our feet as well as we go side to side. So working into our waist as we're pulling, against our band as we go side to side. Let's go for one more in each direction. And then we'll come back to the middle and then working through the tops of our shoulders for our next one. And so again, in that neutral position, core engaged, standing tall, keeping hold of our band, we're going to shrug our shoulders up to our ears and then we're relaxing our shoulders down away from our ears. You're going to breathe in as you shrug your shoulders up and then breathe out as you relax them down. Breathing in as you shrug up, and then breathing out as you relax them down. Try and breathe in through your nose as you shrug up and breathe out through your mouth as you relax your shoulders away from your ears. Each time you exhale, try and think about releasing that little bit more through those shoulders, letting them drop down just a little bit lower each time. So this can be a really nice one for releasing tension into our necks and the tops of our shoulders. So if you feel like you get quite tense, through the tops of your shoulders and up into your neck. This can be a really nice exercise to do to help relieve that tension. Let's go for one more nice big breath in. And then breathing out. Lovely. We're going to do one more standing, holding onto our band. Keep that weight back into our heels and we're going to try some squats. So adding some resistance with our squats. You're going to breathe in as you squat down and breathe out as you push up. So as we're pushing up, we're keeping that space between our knees. We're squeezing our glutes, pushing through those heels as we stand up tall, working against the resistance of our band. So hinge your hips. Try and imagine there's a chair behind you. So your bum is just touching that chair and then squeezing and standing back up nice and tall at the top. As you squat as well, work on keeping that chest open. So when you come down, try and look forward. If you look down, often what tends to happen is you round through your back. So we want to stay nice and strong through those shoulders and open through our chest and drive through those legs as we push up on this one. If you want to make it harder, what you can try is squatting down and then tightening your band up a little bit more. And then as you push up, you've got that bit more tension to work against as you stand up tall here. So again, we're breathing in as we squat down, breathe out as you push up. That's it, keep that chest nice and open, working through those legs, working against the resistance of our band here. So we should be feeling those legs starting to work a bit harder now. Now we've done a few reps, just check in with those knees, check they're not starting to come together when you squat down. Try and keep that little space between them. Let's go for three more squats. And last one. Nice. Well done. Then from here, if you just step off your band, give those fingers a little bit of a wiggle out. And then we're going to roll down and we're going to come down onto our backs on our mats. So let's peel down nice and smoothly, one vertebra at a time. Get a nice stretch through your back as you're rolling down. When you can't get any lower, just crouching down. And then we're going to take a turn onto our backs on our mats here. So you're going to have a line to your back on your mat with your knees bent. So once we're into this position, let's just, uh, we're gonna pick our band up. So have your band just holding it loosely in your hands here. 
And then just think about being nice and long through the back of our neck. We're nice and open through our chest. Our feet and our knees are about hip width apart. And then find that neutral spine position with your lower back. So you can try a little bit of pelvic tilting here. So letting your lower back arch and flatten on and off the floor, just to give you an idea of the movement you've got through your back and what position you're in on the floor at the moment. Then find that middle position for you. So you should have just a gentle arch through your back. Nice big deep breath in. As you breathe out, think about drawing up and in through your pelvic floor muscles, draw your belly button in towards your spine. So that core is engaging. Then we're going to reach our arms up to the ceiling, gripping our band with our palms facing away from us. Our elbows are straight, shoulders are back and down into the floor. A nice bit of tension on that band. So pull it apart so shoulders are active. And then we're going to try doing our one leg stretch with a double arm overhead reach with our band. So you're going to slide one leg out as you take your arms back. And then you're going to slide your leg in as you bring your arms back over. And then you're switching, breathing out as you stretch away, breathing in as you come back in again. So try and keep that pelvis nice and steady. Keep our back in that neutral position as we're sliding away and then coming back in again. Really drawing into our abs, keeping that control. Nice bit of tension on our band. So you're working those shoulders as you're moving here. Uh, so keep it nice and smooth. So you can stick with sliding your heels along the floor, or if you want to work your stomach muscles a little bit harder, if you float your legs up into double tabletop, so that's a 90 degree bend at both your hips and knees, and then you can stretch both arms back as you stretch one leg away, bring your knee in as you bring your arms back in, and then switch one leg reaches away as you reach both arms back, bring your arms in as you bring your knee back in. We're still breathing out as we reach away, breathe in as you come back in. Watch that we're drawing into those abs. So it's a bit harder in this position to keep that control through our lower back, to watch that our rib cage doesn't flare and our back doesn't arch from that neutral position. So really drawing into our abs to keep that control as we move here. We'll go for two more reps on each side, whichever option you're trying. If you found this double tabletop one's getting a bit tough, you can always bring those legs back down again and do your heel slides for your last few reps. When you've done those last few, let's take a little breather. So just put your band down, give those fingers a little wiggle out, give your knees a hug, take a stretch through. And then taking your legs down from here. And then we're gonna use our band one more time for our next one. We're gonna try our hip twist. So we're gonna grip our band again, palms face away, elbows straight, shoulders back and down into the floor. This time we're gonna bring our feet and our knees together. Again, you're gonna pull that band apart, put some tension on it. Keeping our core engaged, our back nice and neutral. Arms are gonna stay still to start with. You're gonna control one knee out to the side and then bring it back in. And then switch, control your other knee out to the side and then bring it back in. So breathe out as you open, breathe in as you close. Watching that our pelvis doesn't rock over to the side. So we're trying to avoid rocking over as you open out with that knee. You're trying to keep that nice control for your body. Again, you should feel those shoulders working. As you pull your band apart, you should also feel those abs working a bit harder as you keep that tension on your band. Your other knee stays pointing straight up to the ceiling here as well. If you're happy with this one, you can make it harder by floating your legs up into double tabletop and then try doing that movement with those feet off the floor. Again, breathe out as you open, breathe in as you close. Still keeping those elbows straight, shoulders back and down into the floor and stays nice and tight. And then a bit more of a challenge for your last few reps here if you want to try it. You can do this one with your legs in either position. So we're gonna start moving our arms as well. You're gonna try and push your opposite arm out with your opposite leg. So opposite arm comes out with your opposite leg and then you come back in and then switch opposite arm and opposite leg come out and then they come back in. So breathe out as you push apart, breathing in as you come back in. Just watching that your other knee stays pointing straight up to the ceiling and your other arm stays nice and steady here as you push the other one out against your band. So you should really feel like you're probably gonna feel like you're working that steady arm harder than the one that you move because you're working hard to stabilize there. We'll just go for two more on each side here, last few. Really drawing into that core to keep that control. It's not about how far you move, but about keeping it smooth and controlled in that movement that you're doing. So when you've done those last few, taking those legs down, if they're up in tabletop, pop your down, down, give your arms a bit of a shake out. We'll just give our knees a bit of a hug out. Take a little stretch through there. So hug your knees in, give them a little rock side to side. 
or roll them around in a circle if that feels like a better stretch out on your back today. And then slowly taking your legs down, taking your time, having a turn onto your side and then having a slow sit up from there when you feel ready to. So hopefully that's just giving you a nice little uh, resistance band Pilates based workout uh, that you can fit into your day. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you want to get any more help from me, um, please do have a look around my channel. I've got a few other uh, videos and exercises on here and um, that you can work through as well. You can also find me um, on Facebook. Um, so I've got a, a Facebook support group, um, a Facebook page and a Instagram page and a website. So uh, you can find me at Animated Physio um, or animatedphysio.co.uk for my website. Thanks a lot. And I hopefully I'll see you for another Pilates session very soon.